Pathfinder. Just the person I wanted to see. Meridian. Set on a path its creators. Disrupted by the Scourge. Now lost. An unmanned ship is at the mercy of ocean currents. Now, think of Meridian as the ship, and the Scourge as the ocean. If we can somehow predict the currents and track them, we could figure out where the ocean's taken the ship. At best, that just narrows down the range of possible locations. It's better than nothing. Dr. Anwar's suggestion may indeed be our best chance at finding Meridian. The more we know about the Scourge, the better we can predict how it affects the things it comes in contact with. We'll need better data. Probes for the Scourge and Garen star charts. The Initiative made charts of Helios from the Milky Way 600 years back. Perfect baseline. I can compare that to Helios at present. It'll give us numbers, but one set won't be enough. Sam, what exactly do we need right now? Readings from within the Scourge itself, collected by probes planted at key points. Once enough data is collected, we'll need initiative resources for mining and analysis. Once that is done, I can build a predictive model that will recalculate Meridian's path. We have a plan. Now let's make it work. Everyone's counting on us. Let's bring them home. Hey there, what's new? Huh? Funny you should ask. I need to know, if I had something really important to do, could I count on you to help? To come along? Depends on the request. There are no blank checks. Fine. I'll just spit it out, see what happens. Thanks to my newly remnant augmented scanner, I'm onto something big. Hear that signal? Best I can tell, it's coming from a piece of raw remnant programming tech. A building block in an unused state. My eyes bulge thinking what we might be able to learn from it, or do with it. It's like a Remtech wildcard. Kind of mystery I live for. I have to get it. There's no time to waste, right? What are the implications of this device, whatever it is? At the very least, it'll strengthen our bridge to Remnant technology. Even just getting closer data readings could help us break down Remnant programming, use their tech more efficiently. I need to find it. Like, now. Well... Now that now is gone, so now. Okay. That's it? No preamble, no further interrogations, just okay? You're in? I'm in. Yes! That your game means the world to me. Loading the coordinates into the galaxy map. Consider me primed and ready. Hello, Ryder. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm numb. I'm in awe. There's a peace in knowing that though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. That you may even have a hidden destiny. We don't even know how large that hidden plan is. It may span galaxies. Exactly. And if we, once we know our place in that plan, we could fulfill it, and even better it. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds, all these advanced tools, and there is nothing the Ket can do about it. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. 
Much more. Those bony bastards will put up a fight. <laughs> Let them. It doesn't matter if we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or exist as the dream of an AI superpower. This discovery changes nothing, except ourselves. And that's everything. Probe. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. The data collection probe is prepped whenever you're ready, Ryder. Approximating remnant ship dynamics. Sam? Building predictive model. Between the remnant city Meridian and however the Scourge fits in, pardon my Martian, but it's all weird as shite. Just the relevant data, Suvi. Do we have it or not? Ryder, we have it. I mean, we will. With this. The mother of all navigational aids. Take that back to the remnant city, find an override, and their ships will fly the same vector as Meridian. With correction for the Scourge, you'll have its exact location. The heart of the Vault Network. We can do it. uncomfortable being shackled to the organism you call Pathfinder. It isn't imprisonment. Our connection permits me access to places I couldn't otherwise visit. Maybe next time you can take me with you. I doubt the Pathfinder would agree to that. It could be our secret. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted, from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But... Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat... They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And then seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. They will keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. 
You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <sighs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <sighs> There's still hope for your mother. <clears throat> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod, under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the benefactor? Unknown. Got it. I need to go find Mom. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. 
Follow instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. This is Palavin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the Benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, Mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E. R. Are you saying? I saw Dad's last memory. E. R. is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's Mom. Oh my god. How is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. I said the same thing. But does it really matter? She's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. But she's right here! How long do we have to wait? As long as it takes to perfect a cure. If her life or your father's means anything, we owe them that much. Sam's right. Give it time. We want to do this right. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together. Drac will want to see this. I'm worried about this place if the cat find you. 
end of the station. It's all we can do here. You just keep the Pathfinder safe and the cat busy. And be careful out there. I only have one of you. We've got everything we need on Spender. I've been waiting for this moment for nearly a year. Ready? Let's go confront Spender. Be nice to bring his head back to Morda on a pike. You know, as a gift. He's Nexus personnel. Addison and Kandros will decide what to do with him. Spoil sport. I didn't have a choice. Aron said they'd kill me. You helped the mutineers, Spender. That was a choice right there. All you had to do was ask for help. Instead, you put everyone else at risk to save yourself. Please, incriminate yourself further. Tell us everything they made you do. What do you know, Pathfinder? You weren't there during the mutiny. You're done now, buddy, and with any luck, they'll give you to me. Everything the Pathfinder's saying is true. Here's the proof. A scrambler packed with logs and credit transfers to exiles. This has been going on since the mutiny. He's been altering files, stealing supplies, communicating with them. This is a massive security breach. I can't even begin to fathom the damage he's responsible for. Like your hands are clean, Kandros? We all wanted the Krogan gone. I just made it easier. The Exiles think I work for them, just like you think I work for you. That's what real politics looks like. Right under our noses. God damn it, Spender! The Krogan left. Spender played both sides just to get a promotion. You couldn't have seen that coming. No. No, I was given ample reasons to suspect something. I just chose not to. Tan was on my ass about the Krogan so much, I let myself be blind to Spender. You're getting a chance to fix this now. Let's start with taking our side when my clan tries to negotiate a better deal with Tan. You need us, and frankly, we need you. You're right. I'll back you up. We'll do it right this time. So, what about him? Lock him up. He won't be the last, but he'll make a fine example. You're just gonna throw me in a cell? Could be worse. We could throw you off the station. Think about that for a moment. Thanks, Ryder. You have no idea how glad I am this business is settled. Safely home, thanks to you and your skills. I've learned a great deal. Anything in particular the Heskarl can use? Team structure, battle coordination, your maneuver with the jump jets, and I want one of those. Your performance was exemplary, Ryder. I can see clearly why your N7 would be the best of the best. If you tire of being a Pathfinder, I'd be honored to call you a brother, Heskal. Survival protocols are proceeding. I'm sorry, ma'am. They're just trying to boost our morale. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. You had to tell the truth, whatever the cost. You did what was right. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. Imprisoning a vid maker for her work seems... historic. Too bad no one recorded it. <laughs> they took my camera. But I was scribbling a few notes. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. Coordinating, path is calm. Still weird 
me out to see the scourge like that. Should we check it out? Sam, this one mentions a nav point. I've extracted the information and added it to your map. Then we know where the researcher was headed. Let's go. Volunteers, or do you recruit? Both. Young'uns will hear about what I'm doing, hunt me down, and if I like the look of them, I sign them up. The look of them? Why? It's not a beauty contest if you look like... Pathfinder, the nav point in the Initiative Researcher's Journal points to this location. Gets us a step closer. I detect another journal in this area. It may provide answers. That did it! This contains valuable data, Pathfinder. You may want to scan it.
knew it was a long shot, but I still held hope she was alive. All we can do is turn this into Prodromos, like she wanted. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. The Moshai said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the Ket sent back was his badge, and a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared, why my father mourned for months. Why kill an ambassador and risk retaliation? They told us it was retaliation for Havaral's attack on their envoy. Havaral received the same story. But in that one, we were the aggressors. We were so busy blaming each other. We were divided when the Ket launched their assault. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. I said you'd want to hear my experience with the cat, to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to vote when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the cat. We were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Later we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The captain had saved our lives. The enemy uses confusion to take advantage of the vulnerable. Many shuttles obeyed that false order. Those people were never seen again. The Moshai said we should speak. You remember the Ket's arrival. One of them came to our city on a vow to offer lavish gifts. We lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. The Ket lured your people into a false friendship. It worked. A month later, our council disappeared. Our city was thrown into chaos. When the Ket came again, 
It was to conquer us at our weakest. They're cunning. They know what you desire and they offer it. Be careful. Oh, you're here. Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? I picked this up. Any idea what it might be? How in the skies did you find an Angaran star map? One that still works, even. It must be pre-scourge. If we analyze it, we can learn where our people traveled before the Dark Age. Aren't star maps usually bigger? An Angaran star map isn't used for navigation. It acts as a log of where its owner traveled. This one's data is locked, but Aelin can decrypt it for me. You've given me more to study than I ever expected. I've got a lot of work ahead. Thank you for your help, Pathfinder. I'll let you know if I discover anything. Can we talk when you're free? It's almost unbelievable that some of the Ket would be fighting their own. The Ket always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shed some light on those questions. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed Ket ship it's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So you're saying I have to track down some Ket? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those Ket genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Got your memo, Suvi. Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time at... Key found. Whoa. We thought it was a data log, but, it, but it's not. It's... It's... Uh... It just locked onto a transmission. Does it compromise our security? The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. This transmission is audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurns tradition, defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon stands tall only while we hold him up. Someone's gunning for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. You don't mean try to make some kind of deal? Don't know yet. What else is in the transmission? It's the same stuff. It repeats. I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. I'll transmit it to your Omni tool in case you want to check it out. What do you think we'll find out there? I don't know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder. Gets us away from the sun for a while. Loot from our outposts. And an Ark escape pod? Where did they get that? They're not keeping it. We need an up-close scan. 
This is the nav point Suvi gave us, but there's nothing here. Just this beacon. Transmission's probably rooted through a bunch of these. If I was spouting treasonous nonsense, I'd be careful too. Located another node on this network. Updating your Omni tool with the information. That's it for hostiles. Let's see what this beacon has for us. Pathfinder, I have located another node on this network. Updating your Omni tool with the Omni. The transmission is strong and unobstructed here, Pathfinder. Looks like we found it then. Meant to be broadcast to the Ket, most likely. Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. Too bad there's nothing else here. And so you have found me. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. Determination is a personality trait, not a genetic one. Not the personality is something you understand. Or have. You waste time on pettiness. I did not reveal myself as a traitor easily. I did so only because I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. The Archon's obsession with the Remnant incites chaos and endangers all we've worked for. This must end. I take it you need my help for this? I am Ket. I do not need help. I would use you as a tool to hasten the Archon's destruction. I need only ensure nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Exaltation? No thanks. One day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from this conflict, so you can destroy a mutual enemy. It'll give us an ace in our back pocket. 
Just make sure the gun's loaded when we use it. We don't need some cat cheat. Come on, kid, be smart. Why do you oppose the Archon? The Archon says he will use Meridian to dominate this cluster. He says Meridian will bring us victory. We have never needed Remnant to be victorious. No, he wants more. His ambition is plain. I am not alone in this thought. What exactly do I get from this deal? Sometime soon, I will be called upon by the Archon to destroy you. When that time arrives, I will provide you with the means to disable my ship. Or you could just leave me alone. And should you fail to bring down the Archon, my treachery will be exposed. Covering your own ass. Fine. Anything that'll help me kill the Archon. During our next clash, I shall lower my ship's defenses and allow you to use a kill code to disable it. I have transmitted the code to the console in this room. I bid you goodbye, Pathfinder. We will not speak again. <laughs>